Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope that you had an extraordinary spring break and a chance to relax and, uh, and enjoy time with family and friends. And now we're back for the tail end of the semester, and things are as busy as ever. And I wanted to draw your attention to a few events that uh, I think you might find interesting. The first is the 54th annual UND Writers Conference. This is a, an amazing national event that's happening the 23rd through the 25th of March. That's the end of this week. And uh, hopefully you can take it in and enjoy some of the speakers. In addition, we have Admitted Students Day, which happens on Friday of this week. This is where prospective students and their families come to campus to take it all in and to, to hear about how the University of North Dakota can impact them and, uh, and set them up for, for great lives. So if you run into these students or their family members, please take the time to say hello and offer them a warm welcome, but then also tell them your story. Tell them about the things that you're doing at UND and uh, the impact that UND has had on you. March is Women's History Month. Uh, we're nearing the tail end of it, but you've seen undoubtedly social media stories and other stories on UND Today about the impact that women have had on our campus and in society. So let's continue to honor their contributions uh, to this world. In addition, March is Disability Awareness Month, and so this is a chance for us to, to continue to focus on the accessibility issues on our campus and to make sure that our campus is accessible for all. Um, a great example of that is the construction that happened between O'Kelly and Gillette Halls. And uh, there we have um, a, a new ground floor entrance that has elevators and makes those two buildings more accessible uh, than they've ever been. Uh, in addition, the university is hosting on the 3rd of April, um, the North Dakota State Disability Services Council uh, for their annual conference. And this is a chance for people from around the state to come talk about how do we make our workplaces and our educational environments even more accessible. And then finally, the legislature is still continuing to go. Um, the, uh, the information that we uh, will share with you is posted on und.edu slash legislative. So be sure to check out the latest goings on with respect to our legislative uh, actions and, and relationships. And then finally, as, we, as I close, I wanted to talk to you about, um, about some thoughts I have uh, that are an outgrowth of our important work on Native American repatriation. And as you recall, our campus is, is working hard to make sure all of those ancestors are returned to their homelands. And it's really forced me to think about uh, the words and actions that we take as a campus community. And as we are working through repatriation, I'd like each member of our campus community to consider its impact on those most affected by repatriation. And I ask you to please be thoughtful and respectful of how it affects others, even if you're not personally involved in the process or the actions that are being taken by the university. Think about what you can do to lead by example. Be considerate of those who are currently experiencing the pain um, and to make that your first step. And our words and our actions at this time I believe are important to maintain the friendly, welcoming, loving environment on our campus that we desire for absolutely everyone. So please keep these thoughts in mind as we go forward and uh, I hope that each of you have a wonderful week. Thank you.